Okay, so now I have scrubbed the area that we're going to be blocking. Uh, the animal is connected to my nearest stimulator at 0.7 milliamps. My needle is already pried with the local anesthetic. I don't want to inject any air there. Now I have you know, gloves, sterile gloves on. Obviously, the ultrasound is not covered, so my right hand is going to be unsterile. So I will try to avoid touching my needle with this hand. Only my left hand is going to be touching my sterile needle. So I'm just going to remove the cover and have my needle ready for me. So now, when we look at these structures here, okay, we need to, we can scout this image, you know, put a, the, the probe just on the top of my, scap, uh, my first rib, and as soon as I do that, I can actually come from the, the most ventral portion, I find the rings of the trachea, I can keep, keep moving up until I find, finally, the rib, and the, um, basically the roots is still of the brachial plexus, okay, just uh, coming out of the, under the scalene muscle. Notice that there is two major arteries, right, uh, cranial to the, the uh, first rib. You have actually the vertebral artery and the uh, cervical coastal uh, trunk that are just under those uh, uh, blocks, uh, those, those nerves, roots. So here you can see from the left to the right uh, the roots from C6 to T2. And you obviously have already innervations there are innervation that are um, uh, nerve root roots already is splitting out in some uh, ramifications in there. That's why you don't see only just four or five uh, dots in there as uh, hypoechoic dots uh, that would be your roots. So the first injection I'm going to do is when I'm going to do this block, I'm going to come pretty superficial uh, close to my probe. And once I actually visualize my needle, I'm going to go and move it to the most uh, distal portion. And you can see that the limbs start moving. And we're getting probably some ulnar and medial nerve because I'm on really uh, lower on the brachial uh, plexus right there and you can see my needle. Okay, after I do an injection here, I'm gonna move a little bit cranial and you can see that the contraction of the limb will change because now I'm going to a different root and different nerves. Okay, and I will be trying to coat most of those nerve roots and this is a great technique uh, you know, and as a good uh, uh, alternative for the axillary area because you have less branching of these roots. So Dr. Pablo Terro did this description. I find that it's a much easier uh, as far as making sure that you have a complete block. However, it's a much more uh, skill-dependent block and it can be quite tricky because of due to the uh, proximity to major vessels and, uh, and the trachea. And you can see, again, the needle coming out on proximity to the cranial portion of that. And a lot of times I'll turn off my, trans my, my stimulator once I get to this point so I don't actually get uh, so much interference when I'm doing this blockade. And then I'm moving again cranially to get the nerves, and I, you know, because it's a super, very superficial blockade, actually, the needle is just a, on the subcutaneous tissue almost, not much muscle over, so it's trickier sometimes to get the, the a distant image of your needle in a complete, you know, on the complete block. And that's about it. So once I see the contractions and find the whole block, the whole uh, plexus, I am then ready to inject this, this plexus with local anesthetic, starting from the most caudal portion of the plexus to the cranial portion.